Good morning, everyone. What, Hattie? <clears throat> My name is Heather. Thank you so much for tuning into today's video. This is going to be a closet clean, a little bit of declutter, but mostly just cleaning and organizing. And I just wanted to show you guys that sometimes it takes zero money, but a little bit of effort to improve your space. So, you know, when you think of, okay, come here. When you think of organizing something in your house, especially like a closet, you think, oh, I should go buy, I should go to the container store, which it's like heaven for anyone that likes an organized space. But at the same time, it'll clear out your whole entire wallet because it's so expensive. But basically, you, I just wanted to come on here and, and show you that you can still improve your space. What? Look at it. Look at your unicorn. Oh my goodness. Elia got gifted this unicorn that actually grows crystals. And we did it last night while we were just hanging out. So let me show you what it looks like. Come on, Elia. What it looks like. Look at the unicorn. It grew crystals on it. <laughs> that is so cool. Where did you get this? Did Nana get this for you? Yeah, Nana got it. Yeah, you just mix this little solution together with water and then you go to sleep basically and in 24 hours it's supposed to like grow these really pretty crystals on it. Yeah. That's so cool. Is it tail all? <clears throat> the tail's all. Dark. It's all crystal? No crystal. I want a banana. You want a banana? Yeah. Okay, I won't. <laughs> this is just how the morning goes. We're like, ooh, something sparkly. Let's look at it. But anyways, we're gonna get our day started. We're gonna get dressed, clean up, finish my coffee, and then we're gonna get these closets <laughs> organized. So thanks for coming along with us. <laughs> Okay, so I'm getting into the room now and I'm just starting a load of laundry and kind of picking up and making sure my bed is made before I completely destroy the room by trying to organize these closets. As you can see with Hattie's crib right next to me like this, when we do end up sleeping in our room, it is kind of cramped on my side. So thankfully we got this crib on Amazon and it is like a portable crib, I guess. So I can move it wherever I need to in the house, which was super, super helpful, especially when we would sleep in the living rooms during those hot summer nights when she was smaller. You crash into me like waves. Never know the value of those days I miss the way that you say my name You're too good I'd never heard of anything before So sweet All the days we spent together When we fell in love We took for granted Now I stand here Cause I miss your love I know this might look a little confusing that I'm just taking off one hanger and putting it onto another shirt, but basically all my husband's kind of more formal wear and dress shirts and jackets are in this closet. And then we have this sort of clothing organizer behind the door for the rest of his casual clothes, the ones he wears most of the time. And that has these specific kind of high hangers. So I wanted to take those high hangers off of his collared shirts so that I could have them with his regular t-shirt. So that's Mommy. just what I'm doing here. Mommy. Mommy. And there's Hattie. <laughs> Got nowhere to go now. We just sleep on the couch. No place to call home now, but I'm sleeping so sound when you stick around. Grew out of our hometown. Cause the city's soft. 
out loud Let's go on a drive out to see what the lights out to want to be found Remember your mom said We gotta wake up It's time to live in the real world Get out of your dream world You're making it up You were working a dead end A drive-thru You pretend You play cool For seven years If one you Okay, now that we've got that all organized, I am moving on to where my husband keeps his casual everyday clothes and he actually keeps his shoes in this too, which kind of was the reason why I wanted to organize, to be honest with you, because I hate walking into my room and seeing a pile of shoes in that corner. Even though when the door's open, I can't really see them. It just, just doesn't look good at all to me. So I was not a fan of this um, clothes organizer when we first bought it, but it really grew on me. And sometimes in your space, you have to take function over looks. So I wanted a place that my husband could keep his clothes that is super accessible because you know where the camera is is where the crib would usually be so it was constantly like him going in and out of the closet to get his clothes and you know the crib just being kind of in the way and when you have a small space sometimes you know function needs to win so this is an example of that now one day we would love to just take this whole wall of our room where our tv is we actually have another dresser to the right of this dresser that's not in the frame, but we would love to just take that whole wall and make it one of those Ikea wardrobe systems. I think it's called the PAX system. And I mean, it just looks beautiful. You can have everything behind a cabinet and built-in drawers and everything. But you know, that's our one day plan and it's good to have goals, right? Okay, I know I can't be the only person that just finds the most random things in the bottom of their closet. I have slippers that I only have one of each. I have an empty shoe box, like a random hat. I don't, I don't know, but I know I can't be the only person this happens to, right? in 
hands on your cheeks Cause baby in your absence life is boring So I'll never leave So I really wanted to change where my husband's shoes were in that kind of clothes organization thing, but I wasn't sure how I was gonna do it. Then I looked around my room and I noticed this table that's pretty much like on its last leg or, you know, like broken, but we still use it. And I thought maybe I'll just put this in the closet and then I can put the shoes around it. I don't know, I thought it would be somewhat functional and I also thought it would look kind of cool. anything before so sweet all the days we spent together when we fell in love what took for granted now i spent it cause i miss your love Okay, and here is the shoes on the table. I don't think it looks bad at all. It's definitely not perfect, but guess what? It didn't cost me a dime. Just a little bit of time and effort to make our space a little bit better. Now I'm just organizing the rest of this, getting his jeans and his pants on one shelf and his shorts on another. And just to keep it really functional, I left his slides on the bottom so he can just walk in if he needs some shoes, if he's just, you know, running errands or something. So that's really it for this video. I will give you guys one more quick little before and after of his closet. I know that it is not some magical Instagram or Pinterest transformation, but this is the kind of stuff that I like to do at home if, you know, it just helps me feel accomplished throughout the day. So here's what the closet looked like before, and now I will show you guys the after, and thank you so, so much for watching this video. I really appreciate it, and I hope you guys have a great day wherever you are, and I will see you soon. Bye. Yeah, love, yeah, love.